Welcome to the Unraveling the Scriptures channel. It is named the Star of David and is also known as the Seal of Solomon. What is its origin? This ancient symbol is not only present in Jewish traditions but is also identified in various cultures. Have you ever wondered where this star, known as the Star of David, comes from? In this video, I intend to present to all of you the multiple origins of this symbol, which go beyond its connection to the Jewish people and King David. I will explore the roots of this star, showing that it does not have just one origin, as many may think, and is associated not only with a single culture but with different peoples. Please express your support with likes, comments, and if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe to not miss future videos. I want to share the fascinating history and continuous significance of the Star of David, an ancient symbol that transcends time. The Hidden Origins of the Star of David, What is the Seal of Solomon and Star of Remphan? Although commonly referred to as the Star of David, contrary to popular belief, for the Jewish people, it is actually called Megan David. Megan means shield or buckler, and in the case of David, it refers to the name of King David. In other words, Megan David means shield of David and not star of David. The term star of David is generally recognized as a symbol of both Jewish identity and Judaism itself. However, it is also associated with some forms of ancient occultism. Its shape consists of a hexagram composed of two equilateral triangles. Unlike the menorah, the lion of the tribe of Judah on the flag of the Israelite tribe of Judah, the shofar, and the lulav, the hexagram, called the Star of David, was not originally an exclusively Jewish symbol. This hexagram is an inherently simple geometric construction that has been used over centuries by different peoples in human history, often just as a decorative element. However, it is important to highlight that every symbol carries a profound meaning. Some churches in the Galilean region, for example, used the Star of David, the hexagram, as a decorative element. There are thinkers who claim that the term, Seal of Solomon, was adopted by Jews from Islamic magical literature. However, they cannot assert with certainty whether the expression, Shield of David, originated in Islamic or Jewish mysticism. On the other hand, some argue that not only the terminology but also the underlying esoteric philosophy has pre-Islamic Jewish roots. Among other arguments, the Talmud is mentioned, along with the reference to the hexagram engraved on the ring of the seal of Solomon. Furthermore, it is highlighted that Jewish alchemists were mentors to their Muslim and Christian counterparts. A key figure, the opener of ways, like Maria Hebrea of Alexandria in the 2nd or 3rd centuries after Christ, already employed concepts that were later adopted by Muslim and Christian alchemists. These concepts could be graphically associated with the symbolism of the upper and lower triangles that make up the hexagram, which began to be explicitly used after that time. However, the hexagram only became widely spread in Jewish magical texts and amulets in the early Middle Ages. For this reason, many modern authors see Islamic mysticism as the source of the use of the hexagram by Jewish Kabbalists in medieval Spain. Now, when discussing the origins of the Star of David, the question arises as to whether it is truly a symbol of the Jewish people and represents King David or simply makes reference to him. Therefore, I will present interpretations of the origins of the Star of David, exploring its roots and meanings. Firstly, I will address the most widespread interpretation among Jews, the rabbinic interpretation that explains the origin of this star, namely, the hexagram. The rabbis explain that the Star of David was formed from the name of David. According to this tradition, blacksmiths wanted to gift King David with his name on a shield. Some claim they simply wanted to inscribe the name of King David on all the shields of the soldiers of Israel. The blacksmiths, according to this version, attempted to put the name of David written in ancient Hebrew, using the Phoenician writing form, which predates square writing. In this attempt, something surprising happened. There was an issue, and the letters of the name David ended up merging, resulting in the geometric formation of the Star of David, or hexagram. This is notable when we look at Phoenician writing. The name, David, in Hebrew has three letters, Dalit, Vav, and Dalit. 
The Dalit, especially at the beginning, resembles a triangle, being practically a triangle. The Vav is not a triangle, but the other Dalit is exactly a triangle. Therefore, we have two triangles, and the Star of David, or hexagram, is formed by an upward triangle and another downward triangle, placed one upon the other. In this tradition, the fusion of the letters Dalit resulted in the creation of this symbol. It is worth noting that, in Phoenician writing, the name David is pronounced as David. So basically, this is the origin pointed out by the rabbis for the Star of David, according to rabbinic tradition. Many people also confuse the Star of David with the Seal of Solomon, which is essentially the same symbol. The differentiation between the Star of David and the Seal of Solomon is very small. Some believe that Solomon, due to the idolatry and paganism he engaged in, distorted the original symbol of his father, David. According to this view, Solomon, because of his worship of pagan deities and the construction of temples for these gods, deviated from his father's faith. Thus, some argue that he distorted the symbol of the Star of David, represented by the two intertwined Dalits, causing the symbol to become intertwined. It is observed that the Star of David is overlaid, while the Seal of Solomon is intertwined. Another interpretation suggests that Solomon, in his love for many women, especially foreign and idolatrous ones, represented the masculine and feminine in the symbol. In this view, the upward triangle represents the masculine, and the downward triangle represents the feminine, or vice versa. Some claim that Solomon made this alteration due to his involvement with foreign, Canaanite, and idolatrous women, demonstrating excessive love for them. So basically, this symbol seems to represent the relationship between man and woman. The image I provided of the Star of David and the Seal of Solomon for you shows that the differentiation between them is minimal. Many believe that the Seal of Solomon is often used in magic rituals and occultism. According to some accounts, Solomon became a sorcerer, and this seal was associated with a ring he possessed. Speaking of Solomon's mistakes, this is not new, as we read in the Book of Kings, Chapter 11. Solomon, besides marrying the daughter of Pharaoh, loved many foreign women, including Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians, Canaanites, and Hittites, again Canaanites. These unions were contrary to God's instructions to the children of Israel, not to have relations with these pagan nations. However, Solomon was swayed by these women, even having 700 wives and 300 concubines. As Solomon aged, his wives influenced him to worship the gods of these pagan nations, turning his heart away from God's path. He even built altars for Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Moloch, the abominable god of the Ammonites. Solomon practiced evil before the Lord by following the gods of his foreign wives, even building an altar for Chemosh, the detestable god of the Moabites, near Jerusalem. He allowed his wives to offer incense and sacrifices to these gods, which was considered abominable before God. This demonstrates Solomon's departure from his father David's faith, resulting in actions that displeased God. Returning to the discussion about the hexagram known as the Star of David, it is interesting to note that the Bible does not explicitly mention the use of this star by the people of Israel as a symbol of David. On the contrary, the Bible addresses the idolatry associated with a star, which was adopted by Israelites who deviated from the faith. The book of Amos, for example, is clear about this idolatry, and the Acts of the Apostles also addresses the theme. Interestingly, there is a Jewish seal from the 6th century, discovered in archaeological excavations in the city of Sidon, which features the Star of David. However, it is notable that the 6th century was marked by various forms of idolatry among the Israelite people. The prophet Amos, who lived in the 6th century BC, mentions a specific idolatry related to a star called the Star of Divinity or the pagan-slash-demonic god known as Remphan. Taking into consideration the reference in Amos, chapter 5, verses 25 to 27, describing Israelite idolatry, divine criticism stands out. Behold, it was to me that you brought your sacrifices and offerings during the forty years of wandering in the desert, O nation of Israel. 
No. It was not. Instead, you carried your king Sikath and Kiyun, your star god idols that you made for yourselves. For all these reasons, I will send you into captivity, into exile beyond Damascus. Declares the Lord, whose name is Yahweh Elohim, God of hosts. In the Almeida Bible, the passage is translated as follows, Did you offer sacrifices and oblations to me in the wilderness for forty years, O house of Israel? Instead, you took up the tent of your Moloch and the image of your idols, the star of your God which you made for yourselves. Therefore, I will take you captive beyond Damascus, says the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. In other words, according to this alternative perspective, both the Star of David and the Seal of Solomon, both symbols without exceptions, would ultimately be considered a representation of a star. Some may argue that, for them, it was not necessarily a star with a defined shape, but rather an interpretation that differed when observed by other peoples. However, this claim is questionable, as peoples like the Akkadians and Sumerians in the Mesopotamia region of the Middle East used a similar symbol to represent the sky, essentially a star. Thus, the Star of David, or Hexagram, or Star of Remphan, would essentially be a pagan representation that found acceptance among the Israelites, as indicated by Amos. According to this perspective, this star would have no connection to King David, the Seal of Solomon, or both of these symbols but would be related to a pagan deity called Remphan. It is no coincidence that the hexagram is found in different cultures as a pagan symbol and even in magical practices. I would like to know each of your opinions in the comments, which of these origins do you agree with for the Star of David, Star of Remphan or Seal of Solomon? It is important to note that I have presented various interpretations of the origins of this ancient symbol so that everyone has a more comprehensive understanding. Responding to a common question today about what the real symbol of the people of Israel to represent the nation or the Israeli people would be, in my view and interpretation, despite the respect for the Star of David, the most used symbol in the Bible to represent the people of Israel should be the menorah. Thank you for watching the video this far, may God bless you, see you soon.